Hello, and thank you for joining me for this training video. Today we'll be covering the return transaction for stock items. We'll also cover some configuration options, which are limited to customers with the standard or higher packages and administrative privileges. We're going to start off by loading the return transaction from the sidebar on the left. Any user who does this regularly should consider clicking on the star. This will add the transaction to their favorites menu. Like the other transactions, the return has three distinct areas. We have the top info section, we have the buttons, and the pending transaction area. The top info section is for users to enter the information related to what or who the items are returning from. The pending transaction area is for the items actually being returned. BarCloud will require the customer to be loaded first, since it will only load a list of items that have been issued to that customer. Therefore, only items on this list can be returned. Users simply need to select, type, or scan the item number into the Select an Inventory section. The user will need to indicate where the item is being moved to, and how many of the available quantity that have been issued to that customer are being returned. For advanced item tracking, the user will need to indicate the lot number or the serial number, referred to as the inventory ID, instead of the stock item number. Users of standard or higher packages will also have the option to use a sales order to populate the customer and a list of items that can be returned. Before we press the process button, let's take a look at some of our options here. Here we do have the option to print a receipt. This option can be turned on and configured by administrative level users in the system configuration section. In that section, the administrator will also be able to decide what report should be used as the default receipt. If the transaction needs to be wiped prior to processing, simply hit the clear button. And additionally, for customers with the standard or higher package and administrative access, there is also the edit forms button. This will allow the administrator to rename fields, hide them, all based on user security, or make them required. Additionally, for customers with a standard or higher package and administrative access, there's also the Edit Forms button. This button will allow administrators to control which fields are shown based on the security level of the user, rename specific fields, and also make fields required. Now, once everything is ready, we'll simply press the Process button. After the items have been returned, they can be viewed in the inventory screen. They can also be seen in historical information in either the history section or in the return history reports. Thank you again for joining me for this video. Be sure to check out the rest of our training videos for any other questions.